Bonjour tout le monde, Madame Mayo here uh, with mot 2 from Chapitre 11 in Level 2 of Bon Voyage. Uh, we are going to learn some new vocabulary today regarding uh, the farm and being in the country. If you recall, this chapter is La Ville et la Campagne. So we're going to start with A la Campagne. A la Campagne means in the country. So please be sure to take out your packet and open up to the page where your mot de list is and write down your English definitions. All right, so as you see, we have a la campagne. I put another word in here for you. You can add it if you like. It's le paysage. You might remember this word, le paysage, which means the countryside. When we're looking out at the countryside. All right, so à la campagne, we are on une ferme. That's your first word there, une ferme, which is what it looks like, a farm. And on the farm, very often, you will have a barn, and that is the word une grange. Une grange, that is a barn. The barn is where the animals sleep, right? That's where we keep the animals at night. Our sentence here, le fermier entrepose son matériel agricole dans un hangar. All right, the fermier, this is the farmer, okay? It comes from the word ferme. So le fermier is the farmer. My verb is entreposer. Entrepose is that he stores, um, he stores his agricultural material in the shed. An hangar is a shed. So it's easy to get confused a little bit here because you have une grange, which is a barn, and then you have an hangar, which is a shed. All right, so the animals sleep in the grange, and then the materials, you know, the agricultural material, whether it be, you know, roll bales of hay, or you know whatever he um, harvests that he's going to keep in the shed, which is an hangar. Okay. Agricole is the same as agricultural. That's how we spell agricultural. And so two words for farmer would be un fermier and also an agriculteur. An agriculteur, that is a farmer. And then I gave you the feminine form here too une agricultrice, okay? Whenever you have E-U-R at the end of the word describing somebody's profession, the feminine form will be I-C-E, une agricultrice. Okay. Under that, we have la terre, and we saw this in Petit Prince. We learned the word for la terre, the earth. And we also learned the word in Petit Prince for un champ. Un champ is a field, right? Remember the champ de blé that the fox didn't have any need for, except that it would remind him of the Petit Prince, his golden hair. Un champ is a field. L'agriculture cultive or travail, they mean the same thing here, la terre. So the farmer cultivates or works the earth. You're going to write all this down right on your paper in your packet next to the French. You're going to write the English. All right, now there's a word missing in your packet. And that's this word here, le blé. And you've seen this word again in Petit Prince, le blé which means wheat. And we usually see champ de blé, which means a, a field of wheat. So you want to add that to your list. Les céréales, now you, if you remember, la céréale is cereal that you eat in the morning. 
Here, les cereales means grains. Okay, these are the grains, all the different grains you can have. You see up here we have corn, right? We've got wheat. So we have different grains that we can cultivate, that we can harvest and grow. And speaking of harvest, that is what we call la récolte. That's the harvest, la récolte. This picture here, un vignoble. This is pronounced un vignoble. And you can see du raisin. You can see the raisins there. The little house in the back there, that's usually what we call le cave. And it's spelt cave. That's where they do wine tastings. Notice the huge leaves on these vines. Vines are called les vignes. We saw that word as well in Petit Prince, if you remember. Les vignes. Okay. And then the building is le cave. Okay. So vignoble for vineyard. Les vignes are the vines themselves. And le cave is this building over here where you could do, you know, some wine tasting. All right, something very similar to, but a little different than en champ, which is a field, we have en pré. En pré is a meadow. This is where you might put the animals out uh, to go feed. They'll eat the grass. What do they find there? They find de l'herbe, right? De l'herbe, that's grass. And we saw that in Petit Prince as well, as well as the mouton. Remember the mouton? who might be eating la rose. We had all that drama with la rose and the mouton. Un troupeau is a herd. So un troupeau de mouton is a herd of sheep. And you're just gonna write that down in your packet. All right, now we're going to talk about the different animals and their babies. <laughs> so let's see. Le bébé d'un mouton, the baby of a sheep, c'est un agneau. Now, if you remember agneau, when we were talking about food, agneau means lamb. So the baby of a sheep is a lamb. Now we're going to talk about some animals, des animaux, des animaux. And I added this word here for animal, so you can see it's the same word in English as in French. But I want to point out to you that when we have a word in French, a noun that ends in A-L, to make it plural, we use A-U-X. We don't use an S. We don't put an S on animal. It becomes animaux like this. And that's with words that end in A-L. So des animaux is some animals. We're going to look at some of these animals now. I think you can tell what this one is. Un cheval is a horse. And then we have two different ways to say to go horseback riding. One is faire du cheval. Je fais du cheval. I horseback ride. Or faire de l'équitation. Je fais de l'équitation. Think of the word for equestrian in English. Equitation is very similar to that. So we have a horse and horseback riding. Either one can be used. Both are expressions with fair. And then you have that sentence there, Jules va faire de cheval. And this is the future proche. You should recognize aller plus infinitive, future proche. So Jules is going to go horseback riding. And that is idiomatic expression with fair because fair does not mean to go. We have this little conversation up here where she's looking at this horse and at this horse, and she says to the young man, lequel des chevaux tu préfères? And she's asking, which one of the horses do you prefer? 
And he answers, celui-là, this one. All right. So what I did here was I just did some review notes on something we've learned before. If you remember, the interrogative adjective quel means which or what, right? Quelle heure est-il? Quel temps fait-il? And since it's an adjective, adjective, uh, you have masculine singular, masculine, masculine plural, you have feminine singular, feminine plural, okay? You have all those forms because it's an adjective and it means which or what. Laquelle, which we just saw here, or lequel, works the same way and it means which one. So feminine singular, laquelle, feminine plural, uh, lequel, masculine singular, lequel, and masculine plural, lequel. All right, and they mean which one. Now, when somebody asks you a question like that, you're gonna answer with celui or cell. And the reason they have the la there is kind of like just an extra little, you know, uh, this one here, like cell, cella, this one. That's what that means, this one, cella. This one. Okay, and we're going to look at that when we do grammar in this chapter. The relationship between the interrogative adjective quel and then lequel and celui. All right, let's look at some more animals. En lapin. En lapin is a rabbit. That's a pretty big rabbit. On la bas. Une poule. You know that le poulet means chicken. Une poule is a hen. And that's where we get the eggs from, a hen. Une poule is a hen. Next, we have un cochon. Un cochon is a pig. And une vache. Une vache is a cow. And le bébé d'une vache est un veau. So the baby of a cow is un veau. And this, you know, means veal. Um, but we would say in English, a calf, right? The baby of a cow is a calf. But en veau in French, and you know, veal is the word for the food as well. Okay. À la ferme, les vaches dorment dans une étable. Not just les vaches, les cheval, les autres animaux aussi dorment dans une étable. Une étable is a stable. Kind of looks like the word stable a little bit. So on the farm, the cows sleep in the stable. All right, hopefully you've gotten all those words written down in English on your list if you need to go back and re-watch the video. And I will see you soon. Au revoir, mes amis.